Let's see what we find now. Might be a nice pelt in it for us. Hello. Yes. But you're supposed to not let them fucking come after me. That's your one job, Shale. It's okay. You're pretty good at your one job. I'll I'll let you off. Uh, this is looking like the main ruins. Oh, well, maybe not. Multiple ogres. Oh boy. It isn't ogre yet. Holy shit. And I'm off. Ladies, are you coming to fight? Concentrated death root extract. Sure. A lot of bones. Another gravestone. The air seems unnaturally cold around this ancient tombstone. Runes of warding are carved into the surface. Disturb them, motherfuckers! More of these. Legend of the Juggernaut. The arm of the Imperium is long. Once it reached even this forest, in a time when the barbarian tribes of the Clane still ruled the land. The Tevinter Magisters fought to take it from them, inch by inch, if need be, using terrible magic. The Magister Harach brought an army to this forest, led by Alaric, his friend and general. For Alaric, Harach fashioned a suit of finest armour, infused it with lyrium and his own blood magic, and named it Juggernaut, after the unstoppable giant golems guarding the gates of Minrathus. Thus, armed did Ala thus armed did Alaric win many victories against the claim. When defeat came, it came from within. Alaric's own lieutenants rose up against him, jealous of the favour he had curried with the Magisters, and eager to take the Juggernaut armour from him. Alaric was slain, and as each successor gained the armour, the other lieutenants turned against him instead. The Devinter outpost fell to vicious infighting. In a fury, Magister Harach voyaged to the outpost and slew the last three lieutenants. The Clane, however, were already approaching the outpost in force. The barbarian chieftain of the Clane desired the fabled armour himself, and even with all his power, Harach could not hope to stand against them all. Instead, Harach used the last of his own life force to cast a spell of blood magic that bound demons to the bodies of the three dead lieutenants, as well as Harach's own lifeless corpse. These bound revenants hid the pieces of the juggernaut armour, and although the barbarians sacked the outpost, the chieftain found neither the armour nor the revenants. The Juggernaut's armor legend lives on, and more than one brave soul has ventured into the depths of the Brazilian forest in search, never to return. I wonder if there's a like three gravestones and one piece at each gravestone, and now we've found this, we can go back to the gravestone we found and there'll be a piece of armor there? That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, let's get this fight going! <laughs> Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck, it's all over. We're not gonna beat it with just me and Shale. When was the last save? Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck me. Go 
God damn it. Nice try. When was the last save? Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I hate the fucking save system in this game so much. It's so fucking terrible. All right. It is so fucking terrible. How have they never updated it? Too sweet and attentive. No, I misclicked. What do you know of this place? People have always spoken of dark and mysterious woods haunted by beings unseen. The Brazilian forest is one such forest. They say the veil is thin here, and spirits from the fade pass over, drifting through the trees and giving them an unnatural and sinister intelligence. It is said that if you feel you are being watched in the Brazilian forest, you are. Great. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Right, let's go through all this dialogue again. Please. Who are you? The Keeper sent you? The staff I will. I, I can tell you no more. Uh, does everyone have the ice weapons? Yeah. Pigeon? Was that a pigeon? Yes. Did I miss one? No. Okay, and then it's the two ogres, and they're fine, and then... Take two. Wynn, why do you run straight over there and die? That's why we lost. It's because Wynn decides to fucking run away from the entire group. Idiot. Great, Dalen died, did he? I don't know what any of these abilities are, so... This doesn't help. Why the fuck does Wynn just run off and die? 
Your job is to stay behind us and fucking heal. Your one job win. More of these. All right then. Oh, she didn't. The revenant yeeted. I see. Okay. Wow, I tried to swap to her to get her out of it, and she just instantly died. Okay. Oh my god, this sucks. Oh my god, please, I just want to get the skeleton and not win. Oh, she died anyway. Fuck me. Is this possible? This feels impossible. Like, straight up. They deal insane damage. I feel like this is literally impossible to beat. I'll give it one more go. Well, this seems dumb as fuck. He's immune to the fucking freeze effects as well as the damage? Oh wait, oh, the, um, does the damage go through? I can't remember, when it says immune, is that the effect that it's resisting or the damage? I don't know. Okay, no, he's not immune to the freeze effect. There we go. Finally. Finally. Oh, I swapped to Sten to try uh, to Shale to try and heal her, but died immediately. God damn it. I mean, still stood up, but... How are fucking skeletons dealing this much damage and apparently still at full health, two of them? This is so dumb. It's actually happening now, because it's just this thing left.
Mother of God! Time to do right win. Holy fuck, what an absolute bastard of a fight. That was awful. 38 strength, fuck me. It's got a lot of resistances. The emblem of the Archon of the Tevinter Imperium is stamped in gold inside these boots. The metal has otherworldly shimmel, 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 shimmer, that indicates it has been infused with lyrium. When equipped in a set with the Juggernaut armor, gloves, and helm, it is a four-piece. I've never seen a four-piece before. The character gains a bonus to strength and constitution. Jesus fuck. I realized halfway through the fight that we ran out of lyrium potions, and so Win was no longer healing. And so I had to start spamming the fucking health potions. That was insane. That was absolutely <laughs> fucking Here I am. insane. Let's save! That sounds like a good idea. My god. Can't believe how nasty that fight is. Mm, that is good, right? We should have her swap to that. So long as she's not got a... Has she got a set on? Uh, leather gloves, chainmail, chainmail boots. She's not wearing a set, so we can give her Dalish boots. That is better, right? Better armor, much less fatigue, and more defense. Indeed. There you go. Yes. Man, I just cannot believe how fucking hard that fight was. <laughs> that was harder than the fucking High Dragon! The High Dragon was not as difficult as a couple of random skeletons. Oh hey, win! It's your time to shine. He was stood up, not sat down. Friends, turn back, please. These woods are a danger to those who do not know the paths. A Niren? Wait, I... I remember your face, but younger, more impulsive, stern. Win? I thought they had killed you. They very nearly did. The Templars found me while I was searching for the Dalish. They ran me through and left me for dead. I brought this on you. Oh, I was a dreadful mentor, harsh and impatient. I, I am sorry for the way I treated you. I've put that behind me, and you should too. I didn't fit in with the Templars in your Chantry. My path lay elsewhere. Irving is a reasonable man. He will find some way for you to return. The Circle needs new blood. It needs to change. I have fond memories of Irving. He was always kind to me. I will consider your proposal, and perhaps I will speak with Irving. However, I promise nothing. Perhaps the maid you seek is right in front of you. The Grey Warden is a mage, no? The Blight will not last forever. Why not look to him to shape the new circle? It is something both of you should think about. Uh... I'm pleased to have made your acquaintance, Aaron. Likewise. My years in the circle were not a complete waste. I learned more than I let on. You did teach me, Wynne, even if you didn't know it. Look at this. It's the hardened sap of a tree native to this forest. It's been something of a lucky charm for me, and now I want you to have it. Very well. I'm grateful. May your gods smile on you and Aaron. And on you. Oh, hey! Win approves. Skill acquired. Love to see it. Love to see it. The rare fucking nice quest. <laughs> we, it's like, Morrigan, my quest is that I want you to kill my mum. Okay? Leliana. Here's my old friend. Let's go murder her. Okay. <laughs> Alistair. Ah, looks like my sister's here. Let's go see her. 
Turns out she's a fucking bitch. <laughs> like, this is, they're all so nasty. And then this one's just actually like wholesome as fuck. That's nice. That is nice. I'm glad. Fucking hell. Have you given any thought to what Anarin said? There is wisdom in his words. You are a mage, and you could be what the circle needs most. Um, I don't want to go back to that oppressive place. <laughs> That's the point. It doesn't have to be. True. If you went back and assumed a position of power, you could change it for the better. Your life as a Grey Warden has given you a chance to venture abroad, farther than many mages have been. You've seen the world, dealt with kings and lords, Templars and apostates. You've seen the good and bad of all of these. You could bring these experiences back to the Circle, improve it with what you know. It will take time, but it can be done. Slowly. Uh, you could change the circle. Why me? Oh, believe me, I would if I could. But I am not long for this world. Sad. Day by day, I feel myself weakening. I will not live to see the circle rebuilt and made stronger and more glorious. This will be a dream I take to my grave. It doesn't have to be a dream for you. Man, that's so sad. <laughs> That's so sad. Welcome back. Is there something I can do for you? I'm glad that I am a long, long way away from the point where I will be going, man, this is going to happen in X amount of years, but I'm probably not going to be alive when it does. <laughs> can you imagine? That's, that's going to be a really sad day when that day comes, when it's like, I don't even know what it would be. In my head, I'm like thinking, oh, I'm looking forward to a game release. But, like, I don't know if I'm still going to be playing games when I'm fucking 90 or whatever. That seems unlikely. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on from that depressing thought. Uh, could you tend to my wounds? Do I have wounds? Of course. Let me see. Huh. Is that just, like, a free injury removal? Welcome back. Is there something I can do? But I already have wins thing maxed out, so we didn't know it. Didn't need it. Uh, why didn't you stay with the Dalish? I did for some years. The tribe made me feel very welcome, as though I were a lost child. They taught me elven magics and told me the old stories. But I wasn't one of the Dalish. No more than I was a circle mage. I owe them much, and so I stay close by, but I do not count myself among their number. My home is out here in the forest with the trees and animals. I learned to listen to them, and they taught me well. Uh, you know about Wynne's condition, don't you? Yes, she mentioned it. It is quite a miracle, isn't it? Why do you think that happened? Is there anything you can do for her? What happened to Wynne is certainly proof that the gods look favorably upon her. It is not my place to tamper with this. I cannot explain it. Perhaps the spirit felt she had a task to perform. One last apprentice to teach. She is spending her last days in your company, helping you in your quest. Perhaps this is what she feels she needs to do. So you're not angry at Wynne anymore? I don't bear grudges. And it was Wynne who showed me that the Circle wasn't really where I was supposed to be. She is a good person with a noble heart. She always tries to do what she thinks is best for others. She tried so hard with me, I could tell. Unfortunately, I wasn't listening. And all she knew to do back then was yell more. I forgave her many years ago. It's a shame she carried that guilt for so long. Go in peace then, friend. Good dude. Nice dude. We love to see it. Doo -doo -doo. Just like you wanted. The fuck was that? What? <laughs> Hello? Man's just appeared out of thin air. The fuck? Hermit? Oh dear, oh dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What are the woods coming to? <laughs> what is this funny music? Uh, oh, this is that guy. Wait, are you the thief who took the Grand Oak's acorn? Mayhap I did, and mayhap I didn't. Have you come to claim it back? I don't Not like how he looks fun. like me, but older. But we are getting ahead of ourselves already. Ask a question, and you'll get a question, but give an answer, and you'll receive the same. And by me, oh, I mean I Sailor, so not me, IRL, <laughs> obviously. Don't you think, does, doesn't he look, like, near identical to Dalen, but just, like, an older version? Uh, you want me to answer a question? 
Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. I do so love to train. You want me to answer a question? Wouldn't I have to ask you a question first? Isn't that a question? Would you know a question if it was asked? Are you mocking me? I don't know. Are you mocking me? Stop answering every question with a question. But those are the rules. A question for a question, an answer for an answer. Were you not listening? Be careful, Grey Warden. This is no ordinary man. He is a mage. Driven mad, perhaps, but still powerful. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? Uh, then would you like to ask me a question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Uh... Do, do, do. do you have the Grand Oaks acorn? <sighs> Suddenly it all becomes clear. You hear that talking tree there? It all makes sense now. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it, and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Do you want to ask me another question? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh, yes. What is your name? Uh, you may call me Dalen. Uh -huh. So you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Uh, do you have anything to trade? Let's see. I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. Uh, I want to trade for the acorn. Oh, and what do you have to trade for the acorn? Uh, I don't know if he'd care about a gold coin. How about a book? A book, eh? What sort of book? Uh, how about this book on elven history? Where did I get a fucking book on elven history from? Elven history, you say? Hmm, that might make for good reading by the moonlight. Or it'll be better than using leaves. Give me that. There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Hmm. Where were you born? Uh... I was born in the town of Hyever, far to the east. Was I? I don't remember. Was this something that I got to choose, or was I told this? Hmm. So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long, but I will see through it yet. Mark my words. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Oh, yes. Yes. I still have that old helmet and the book. <laughs> uh, I want to trade for the helmet. And what do you have to trade for the helmet? Uh, how about this scarf? Ooh. Warm. Warm enough to keep my neck from freezing on a cold night when the mice are biting at the toes. Give me that! There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your... Maya? Let's see. Do you have a knowledge of the arcane arts? Uh... Can't you tell? If I could tell, I wouldn't have to ask you now, would I? Do you have the knowledge or not? Yes, I do. Uh huh? I knew that. Or did I? I forget now. But if you are a mage, that means... That means that they sent you. Huh? Or does it? Drat. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. I still have the book. It's not missing too many pages. And what do you have to trade for the book? Uh, the silver ring I found in the ruins? Eh? I once had a ring like that. This one's shiny still. Yes, I'll take it. Give me that. Cool, we got all three things from him. Nice. There. Now that's done. What else have you... Maya, what is your relationship with your father? Uh... My father is dead? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know what Dalen's father is. My father is dead. Let's go with that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Most interesting. So that means that you did indeed have a father. <laughs> ah, I knew I would trip you up sooner or later. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away. I dare you. Uh, who are you? Who am I? Why do you want to know? Did they send you? Did they tell you to ask? Who's they? <laughs> did they tell you to pretend to be an innocent stranger with a head full of fluff and nothing? I'm trickier than I look. Ha <laughs> ha! I survive still, and the trees, they leave me be. <laughs> I've won. They will never find me. Never. Uh, I found you. So you did. But I'm watching you. If they sent you, I'll know. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Have you ever seen the Grand Cathedral of Val Royo? Uh, no, of course not. Val Royo is a thousand miles away. Rat. I've always wondered what it looked like. Oh, well, it was worth a question. Your turn. Uh, so you live in this stump? Yes, I live here, and it's not as bad as you think. Where else to go, eh? I must stay away from them. They're out there and looking. They will take your secrets, oh yes, all of them, and leave you empty. But that's all I have to say about that. An aunt, may I? Hmm. Have you ever been in love? Uh, yes, I'm in love right now, I think. Oh? How boring. Maybe they didn't send you after all. That's a bit of a relief, isn't it? All right, then. If you still have something to ask, ask away. No, nothing. All gone. No more trading. The store is closed. La la la! Hmm? Oh, and he's off. <laughs> Archons of the Imperium. And what else did we get? <laughs> we got a helmet. Uh, is it this? The ancient elven helm? Uh, possibly? It was yellow, so maybe? I guess that has to be what it was, right? 25% spirit resistance. I mean, that's pretty huge if we were fighting spirits. Uh, right, okay. Uh, we also got, uh, we got a book? Where would that be? That be in here? Uh, Archons of... Oh, that's that's the codex thing we got. What was the other thing? We got a helmet, we got a book, and there was something else. Oh, the acorn. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Archons of the Imperium. Where's that going to be? Mm. Ah. Archon Darin Darinius of Tavinta journeyed deep into the lightless realm of the dwarves and there forged a covenant with Endrin Stonehammer, lord of the Dwarven Empire. As a symbol of their pact, Endrin gave the Archon a pair of rings, one that shone like the evening star and one as luminous as the dawn. So long as the rings were united, Dar Darinius need fear nothing. For the friendship of the dwarves is a mighty sword and shield. The Archon wore the rings of dawn and dusk for twenty years, never removing them, and when he died they were cut from his fingers by magisters squabbling over his vacant throne, then separated and finally lost. Hmm. Wonder if we can find those rings. Oh god, what the fuck creature is it going to be? Have we gone past it? Nope, still lit up. Do, do, do. Will it be werewolf, maybe? Have we gone past it now? Yes. Probably werewolf then, or the wild silver one, but didn't we read that? Uh, I feel like we read this. Yeah. But then I, f I think we read this a while ago as well. I don't know. Whatever. What's this now? You again? Why don't you go away? Haven't I asked enough questions about you? I think I have. You bore me now. Goodbye. Hmm? I love that there's just an option to kill him. Like, <laughs> wait, codex updated? That just took me to that. Weird. 
It appears someone has dug a hole beneath the stump, leading to a tiny and filthy cave. Obviously the hermit sleeps in there. There also appears to be a small cubby hole within the body of the trunk itself. It is filled with mud, twigs, and other debris. Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out. Uh, <laughs> reach into the cubby hole. You put your hand into the mud and feel around. You find something and grab onto it. You feel something else moving around in the mug. Mug? Mud? And it stabs your hand painfully as you yank your prize out. You're a robber, is what you are. They sent you, didn't they? Well, I'll show you. They won't get away with this. All right, you're about to die. Now, let's see. Which one first? Oh, brilliant. You should have had this. I can ask your fear, mortal. I never liked this part. Well, it was lovely chatting. Thank you for the lyrium. And I said thank you for the lyrium. It will be useful. So what was it that we pulled out the tree stump? Nothing in the trunk appears worthy of your time. I have no idea what we pulled out. Hmm. Well, that was fucking weird. <laughs> that was, in a word, fucking weird. There's the ancient tombstone. Okay, so we came in bottom left and we well went up. We took a left there. Oh, wait, no, we came in there, not bottom left. Right. So we went to the middle. We took a left, went up there. Following that around has led around to this, which will be will come out opposite where we came in. So if we stick to the left path, there's still multiple other routes to go. Good, good. This area seems a lot more linear than the the other half of the forest. Well, God damn aren't it. you sweet and attentive? Uh... Like the other place, you could walk along the top of the area a lot more, and there was just a lot, it's like a lot more area that could have stuff in it, whereas this is much more just paths. Also, hello, trees. Never in doubt. Uh, win! You are today's lucky winner! Uh, did do, do, do. Right, what are we putting... Man, you really have fuck all health, don't you? You know what? Let's put... Let's get you up to 40, because I like round numbers. Uh, and then let's put a few into health. Um... And then, were we just leveling this up? I mean, maybe we should level this up. Bonus to mana regen? That could be useful. Hmm. I don't know. Do I have anyone else that can do herbalism? But then I, I never even use herbalism, so... Whatever. Uh... We could spec her down here. Permanent bonus to spell power. Could take three levels to go down that tree. Uh, like, you've got all of that shit. Hmm. Was there anything I really give a fuck about?
Why did I get a this? <laughs> was I was I working towards one of these? A grease slick? Maybe I wanted the spell bloom. I don't know. I feel like just working towards the better the the permanent bonus to spell power, because I assume that applies to heals as well. Let's just work down that. Alright. Yoink. Hello. Mithal's Blessing. I guess none of us use a shield. The symbol of Mithal, God of Vengeance, is eerily vivid on the face of this shield. Wonder if that would be any good. Ooh, Mithal the Great Protector. Elganan had defeated his father, the sun, damn it, and all was covered in darkness. Pleased with himself, Elganan sought to console his mother, the earth, by replacing all that the sun had destroyed. But the earth knew that without the sun, nothing could grow. She whispered to Elganan this truth, and pleaded with him to release his father, but Elganan's pride was great, and his vengeance was terrible, and he refused. It was at this moment that Mithal walked out of the sea of the earth's tears and onto the land. She placed her hand on Elganan's brow, and at her touch he grew calm, and knew that his anger had led him astray. Humbled, Elganan went to the place where the sun was buried and spoke to him. Elganan said he would release the sun if the sun promised to be gentle, and to return to the earth each night. The sun, feeling remorse at what he had done, agreed. And so the sun rose again in the sky and shone his golden light upon the earth. Elganan and Mithal, with the help of the earth and the sun, brought back to life all the wondrous things that the sun had destroyed, and they grew and thrived. And that night, when the sun had gone to sleep, Mithal gathered the glowing earth around his bed and formed it into a sphere to be placed in the sky, a pale reflection of the sun's true glory. That be the moon. Cool. Elven lore. Very nice, very nice to enjoy. Okay, so that way, that's just, we're, we're looking at a center, like roundabout, essentially with different exits. Okay, so let's try this one. Uh, don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I should save is how I feel about that, actually. Just in case. Oh, it's turned us around. I do not think we made any progress. We could barely see our way through the mist and... Now we are back at the beginning again. Okay. Uh, lost the curse. Do, do, do. I don't know which quest updated. Whatever. We need to. We need to find some magic ability or do something that lets us through there. Can't do it yet. Let's continue. Elsewhere. Ah, oh my god, that one actually made me jump. That one actually made me jump. Finally, we get to the good part. Yes. It is done. It's fucking done, boy. Oh wait, this is just the other entrance to the forest? Yeah, okay. So... That means we have explored everything except for what is past there. So there is nothing further we can do here. Maybe giving the acorn back to the dude is what will give us the thing that allows us to pass through there? He said it would stop us from coming to harm, but like, I don't know exactly what that means. Yes, let's find out. Sup, bitch? My acorn is still gone. Is this the acorn you so see? I my joy soars to new heights indeed. 
I am reunited with my seed. As I promised, hear it be. I hope its magic pleases thee. Keep this branch of mine with thee and pass throughout the forest free. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find you. Thy days be long, thy winters kind, and thy roots be strong. Appreciate it. Uh, what item did we receive? Uh... Would it not go here somewhere? Hmm. Maybe not. Plot items? Uh, iron bark? No, that's the other thing. Ah, not sure, but maybe it will now let us through the barrier? I don't know, 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 I don't know. No, I don't know, I don't know. Which way was that way? That's back to where we came from, okay. So, barrier. Can I walk through you now? I've got that protection thing. Aha! Yes, the Grand Oaks branch allows you to pass the barrier. Nice. Sick! Hey, bud. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still, you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well, but you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. No. Uh, I'm not going anywhere without Witherfang's heart. Why won't you let me try to settle this dispute? <sighs> you are sent by the treacherous Dalish to kill Witherfang. I will not stand by and allow that to happen. Um, why do you call the Dalish treacherous? You attacked them. And they deserve no less. You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill, as all your kind do. We have learned this lesson well. Here, Witherfang protects us. Here we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend Witherfang and this place with our lives. Okay. Time to die then. All right. <laughs> Kitty intervened to save one dude, but like fuck these other guys, I guess. Hello, Onyx Demon Statuette. Sick. Uh, are you gonna have an armor thing for me? Familiar warding runes are carved into this tombstone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me we have to do that fight. The shit fight. Do we have to do that shit fight every time we find one of these? Is it the same shit fight? Please, no. Ah! Oh my god, it's the same shit fight. Or at least, there is a revenant. Oh my god, fucking Leliana's already dead? Are you insane, motherfucker?
Did I just miss? God damn it. No, I wanna. You're immune to my base attack? Oh my god. Oh, these are fucking ridiculous, man. Terrible fucking fight. Let's throw multiple enemies yes, my friend. that are immune Done. to your only free attack. And then that one fucking revenant just that can like just knock people over and yeet them to them. And, and also, there's like apparently like five skeletons. I thought I was clearing them out and then there was still one there and then I saw another one had spawned over here and it's just like... It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's some of the dumbest shit I've seen in this game. That is crazy. Can't be asked to do that. Like, obviously, we could beat it if we just fucking chug potions again like before, but fuck that shit. We are invaded! Intruders have deceived their way into the forest heart! Fall back to the ruins! Protect the lady! The ruins. Okay. You know what? That's probably a good point to leave off, actually, as we are about to enter a new area. A very cool-looking area. And, uh, see what the fuck's going on. Protect the lady? Is Witherfang a lady? Is Witherfang the white doggo that protected speedrunner boy? <laughs> Whatever his fucking name was. Dunno. Find out next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching. See you then.